with something to prove. And we're underway from Protective Stadium. Inter Miami in the black and pink from right to left. Birmingham in the red from left to right. And you could hear them belting it out in the first couple of minutes ahead here. Prosper Kasim has some help, puts it behind Martinez. And so Martinez saved by Dre Callender. Oh, what a start that could have been. Negri. Stefanelli has some space. Stefanelli tries to sneak it near post. And Van Okel got a piece of it out for another corner. And it's spread all over, too, whether it's Juan Agadello or Enzo Martinez or the back line with Alex Cronali, Matt Van Okel in goal, seemingly every stage of this unit. Four-man wall, but you've got another four there between two Inter-Miami players and two more Legion members. Stefanelli or Negri? It's Negri right to Van Okel. Martinez in a pocket of space. He's not afraid to have a go from distance if it's there. Sends this one now far post and punched aside by Callender. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross, but it nets a corner in the end. Is it like Beetlejuice if we say Messi three times as he appear in the second half? It's a, it's a thought. Unfortunately, uh, the, I don't think the private jet has clearance for, <laughs> for, for Alabama. Just, not just yet. Well, that'll do it for half number one. Birmingham Legion in the red from right to left. Delighted to have you with us tonight on CBS Sports Golasso Network. Alongside the former German pro Devin Kerr, I'm Joe Malfa, and we're underway in half number two of the quarterfinal. 45 minutes, perhaps more, to decide which of these teams takes one of the final two remaining spots. It's kind of head toward Negri. There it is. Found it. Bounced right to him. Looking ahead, Coco Jean coming in. Coco Jean off the face of Van Okel. Way to use your head and keep it nil-nil. Exactly what we're talking about. Even though Martinez has come down underneath, there's the explosion of speed by Jean. Like on the back line of Birmingham Legion, very aggressive. You'll regularly see Fanuel Cavita and Alex Cronali, especially Cronali, who's so comfortable with the ball at his. Here's Taylor again, very active since coming on at halftime. Up to Coco Jean inside, score being attempt, and now it's in from Stefanelli. All happened in slow motion, but for the second round in a row, is Nico Stefanelli the hero? Just watch how quickly the decision making pushes itself for Robert Taylor to start to eclipse every single level for this team coming forward. Simplistic in nature. It's an underlap by Sean. We just talked about the combination that could be those two. As he comes wide, you start to stretch that relationship between Gabby Alves and Fanuel Cavita. The speed not there. Crowd enjoys that. And he finds Enzo Martinez. Something could be on here for Birmingham. Martinez inside, looking for Agudelo sliding. It was just beyond his reach. You also make that much of a move. Tired legs, 63 minutes in, difficult to mentally process. Joseph Martinez, separation, saved by Van Uncle. Touches it around the post, keeps it just 1-0. Be very happy with the addition of Robert Taylor into this squad at halftime. And if you're Cronali, you wonder why you wait so long. Understand, quick-witted Martinez is. Coco Jean drives it. Shot in by Negri. Through the traffic, Van Okel had to make a stop. I don't know how much he saw that until the very last moment. Decision making once again. How, oh, how do you not allow this one to come? Enzo Martinez carrying ahead here. Martinez fighting away with it on the ground. Might be revisiting Ian Frey with a yellow card once the play stops, but right now he has his own concerns. And there is a yellow card to Negri, it looks like. On the Inter-Miami side, Rodolfo Pizarro and Leo Campana have come on in. I don't believe a single card was issued in the aftermath of that scuffle. Not to Pasher, not to anybody. Campana looking goalward right to Van Okel. Cronalli from distance, Cronalli put it wide. <laughs> Pressure is going to come from Campana. That surprises everybody else that Alex Cronalli, not only is he gonna tag this thing from distance, but 
He's going to have to replace an ad board. Watch. Who gave it right to Martinez. Agadello looking for Kasim. Now Pasher wide. Had that resulted in a goal. And that's still not sitting well with him or the Birmingham side. He's right, though. 100%. Now from the free kick, Pasher cracks one. Callender stops it. Out of nowhere. ...by Mikey Lopez, who sees all the space off. Just a little touch. Pisado, late to step up. So add some time to the meter. Make sure Babysitter could stay an extra half an hour. Whatever you got to do to get to the conclusion of this one. We'll stay up high here even after the ball served in. Pasher's delivery, dangerous opportunity in front, and Callender knocks it away, a near own goal. In the box. I mean, Drake Callender, just double touch. Robert Taylor, then Campana, there's one. Watch him step back up. Draws the foul. Agadello pulled from behind. It's Aro Shoniello. Great defending. There's the final whistle. Headlines made off the field today. Statement made on the field. Inter Miami through the semifinal.